Hi guys, Steph here. Now, some of you will remember this particular pen here. It was from a, a past pen haul video. As you can see, lovely pattern on it and that was the reason I bought it. Um, but as you can see, the clip and the lever are very badly tarnished. So it will need a little bit of work. And after that little bit of work, here's the pen in question. As I say, the reason I actually bought this pen, nice and simply, is because of this gorgeous pattern. It's got sort of, I don't know how to describe it, like chevron patterns running along in black, sort of silver, creamy colour, and it's got a touch of blue in it as well. So I thought, wow, well, what a lovely, attractive fountain pen. Now, the make of this particular pen, if I sort of go straight up to the, to the cap, and I don't know if you can actually see it, but it actually says, it says Imperial. And just to the very top of the, the word Imperial, it's got a little sort of crown symbol. Okay. To the top there you can see it's got this rounded dome. There's no cap bands, although it has these sort of grooves cut into the cap there. And as we said, it's a lever fill fountain pen. So if I turn it round, there you go. You can see the lever there. Not as tarnished as it was now. I've cleaned it all up. It's looking a lot better. So the sort of the chrome or the nickel trim now is lovely and clean and as we've just seen also with the clip there as well nice and clean as i say it's an imperial fountain pen unfortunately i do not know who they are as far as i'm aware i've done a little bit of homework and i believe it was made by the imperial pen and pencil company of NASA in New York and I'm dating the pen I don't know maybe sort of the 19 around about the 1940s um, the only thing I sort of read is that the the Imperial Pen and Pencil Company as it says in the name and um, they manufactured sort of pens and well pencils as well ball pens I believe uh, desk sets, pen and pencil sets, uh, ballpoint pens, etc, etc. But apart from that, that's all I know about them. <laughs> but as I say, the only reason I bought it is because of this lovely, this lovely pattern and colour into the pen. Obviously, I've restored it, I've cleaned everything internally. As we've said, we've cleaned the trim, put a new sack in the pen. And I thought, yeah, let's do a review on the pen. Um, incidentally, the size of the pen capped is 124 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice 10 millimeters in diameter. So let's unscrew the cap. Okay, let's show you the pen in sort of numerous different angles. As I say, I don't know nothing about this particular company, the Imperial. Uh, the pen itself, I don't know a great deal about it. I just know that it's this lovely, attractive colouring to the pen. Let's go up to the section here. You can see it's got a black section. When I was actually cleaning it, um, the section itself is actually slightly transparent although as you can see there it looks completely black so whether it's an ink view sort of window I don't know I don't think so but yeah when I was cleaning it there was some transparency to the to the section there's the nib there okay and the nib the imprint reads warranted 14 carat and then to the very bottom, it says USA. 
So yeah, the USA may, you know, we may be right on the Imperial Pen and Pencil Company. There's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath. Lovely and clean. Okay. And yep, there's not a great deal I can say, say about it. Although it's quite a small pen, it's still, even with my large hands, it's still a comfortable pen to actually hold. Now, as I say, I've restored it, etc. We don't know a great deal about it. The only thing we know, repeating myself, is this gorgeous, gorgeous colouring and pattern. I wish... Uh, Maybe some of the modern pens could make a pattern like that. I think it's very, very attractive. And that's the reason, as I say, I bought it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for a new home for it. Somebody will enjoy this pen, I'm sure. But let's see how, how the pen writes. So let's get my fingernail in into the lever. Okay, lots of bubbling going on, which is precisely what we want let's bring on a little bit of tissue give it a wipe pop the ink to one side let's see how the pen writes okay once again it's the first time it's been tested since I restored it so <coughs> if we see any problems you'll see it at the same time as I will so what we've got is An imperial fountain pen and as I say just above it um, it actually has like a, a crown motive just above the imperial on the clip the pen, well again we're dating the pen I'm saying sort of 1940s Um, as we said, I believe it's made in the USA. And to be quite honest with you, <laughs> it's actually writing very nicely indeed. There's a little bit of springiness in the nib. But apart from that, writing very nicely. Look at that. So I would say writing with a medium line, very nicely and smooth, little bit of springiness. Not a flex, but a little bit of springiness in the nib. But in full working order. So, let's find a new home for this pen. It's not a well-known make, as we know. It's an Imperial, but I'm sure there may be somebody out there that knows a little bit more about this particular company. If you do, help us all out. Leave a comment down below. But once again, a gorgeous chevron pattern in as I say blacks and silvers and sort of maybe even a creamy colour with touches of blue lovely absolutely lovely pen so I'm sure there'll be somebody out there that'll enjoy the pen for many years to come so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below if you know anything about this company or about this particular pen. Help us all out. Leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini from me and this lovely pen. I'm going to say bye-bye for now.